I'm assuming you can follow the tab or the standard notation at the beginning of this video well enough that you can learn the notes on your own. So rather than going note by note, we're going to talk about fingerings, chord shapes, and techniques that'll make this easier to play. If you do need some help reading tab, I've got a video that'll help get you up to speed, and I'll leave a link for that in the description. And one last thing, please check the description to see how you can order a PDF of this arrangement. I'm playing this chord melody style with a pick, although you could easily play with your fingers if you want to. This one starts off on a C chord, although you're not going to play a full C chord because our melody note is on the third string, so we're only going to strum through that third string. Be ready to put your first finger on that A, second fret, third string, and that last note of the measure I like to create a little separation between that note and then the little double stop in the next measure. A double stop is when you're playing two notes at once. So what, what you can do for that, the last note of this first measure, you can either just briefly touch the string with, uh, with your first finger, or on the next measure you can do a rest stroke. And what I'll do for that rest stroke is I'll play through the C and the E on the fifth and the fourth string and then rest my pick on the third string. So if the third string is ringing, that rest, that resting on the third string will stop that note from ringing. The next two measures are the same as the first two measures. Next measure is based in a G chord but we're altering our G chord. In chord melody style, you often have to alter your chord depending on what the melody note is. So I'm playing my G with fingers two, three, and four, but instead of putting my fourth finger on the first string, like I normally would for a full G chord, the melody note is on the second string on the third fret. So I'm placing my fourth finger on the second string instead, and only strumming through that string. Next measure, all we have to do is strum through the second string, but lift the pinky up. Then we have a C chord again. This time we're strumming through the second string because that's our melody note. And another C chord, but now we're strumming through the uh, third string because that's our melody note. This next section we have an F chord written, but we're really not going to play an F chord because we're going to be playing a lot more of those double stops. You're going to want to be careful with your picking in this. You don't want to hear any extra strings. Now if you're playing finger style, that's pretty easy because you just use fingers to play only those strings. If you're a pick player, you could also try what's called hybrid picking. Hybrid picking is when you use your pick and your fingers. So you can use your pick to play one note and your fingers to play another note. The next four measures are the exact same. Next we have a G7 chord, although it's technically not a G7 until the next measure. So we're playing this like we did the G chord earlier, uh, fingers 2, 3, and 4, but with our fourth finger on the 3rd fret 2nd string for our melody note. Now the next measure is a G7 chord because we're putting our first finger down on the 1st fret 1st string, turns it into a G7, and then 4 and 0 on uh, the second string. Then we move on to a C chord, playing through the second string only. And then we play the full C chord, because our melody involves that full chord. Now that last chord I played, I like to uh, break that chord off before the next measure, just for clarity. Although the next measure, you're still holding down a C chord. So you could either break it off, just by touching the strings and then play the rest. Or you could let it ring and then go to the rest. 
That's really up to you. It's a matter of personal taste. The next measure we do have, still a C chord, and we have these markings, LV, and then those ties, those miniature ties. That just means that you keep those strings ringing. So that first note, that C, first fret, second string, instead of playing the note and then just letting up on it, we hold that note and all the other notes through that entire measure. And I find that pretty easy to play if I just only do upstrokes with a pick. Up, up, up. And then we have some single notes. And then at the end, we've got another C chord. So I'm just going to hold down the full C chord, even though at the beginning, I'm just playing that one low C, uh, third fret, fifth string. And we have those LVs and the little ties again, which just means we're going to be ringing all throughout. And then a little double stop at the end. And that was Silent Night for solo guitar. Have fun with this, and don't forget to check the description to see where you can order the PDF. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more guitar tips and arrangements.